Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Um, what I'm about to do today is beat a very, very, very dead horse with another fucking team video. <laughs> oh god. This is a team I'm, I've been using recently on champs and stuff, and I'm liking it so far, you know. It's a bit... No, it's not It's not entirely different from what I'm usually doing, but, you know, there's a few new additions, you know, and I just want to talk about them a bit, and obviously, at the end of it, I'm going to play a game of rivals, and if I lose, don't get the team, but if I win, you must. Let's go. Alright, starting in goal, we have Lopez, the famous Portuguese keeper. Yeah, he's only six foot tall, which, not gonna lie, is a bit of a problem sometimes. He's really, really good at reflexes, because, you know, he's only got 86 reflexes. Generally, some of the saves he's make, he's, he can save sweaty goals, he can save free kicks in the top corner, he saves with his feet, even though he hasn't got the trait, I don't think. No, he doesn't, but literally, the majority of the time, the majority of the saves this guy makes are with his fucking big toe. Honestly, he's really, really good. Also, something which I have learned to come to terms with is that 10 chemistry on every player is not that important really. I've got a towel right back card playing at uh, right centre back. On 5 chemistry um, he only gets a little boost to his defence but because he's quick it doesn't matter one bit. Right back we have Kleiber, best right back in the game currently in my opinion and a lot of other people's opinions. It's, it tends to be the, the um, consensus? Census? Is that the right word? Yeah, we've got this whole Dutch right side, all green links, and it just looks so orgasmic. He's rumoured to get headliners, and I'll happily pay so much money on FIFA points just to pack that guy. His fucking milestone player is amazing. Uh, left side and back, we have Dinea. Uh, he's really good. I used, I had his, um, what was his 84 special card? SBC did, so I got his 84 in form. At left back, we have Kamara. Uh, you don't need Rana Mendy. You really, really don't. I used uh, Kamara's base gold card recently. I only got this uh, four days ago and generally his, his gold card did the job. Like It's just Mendy but cheaper and plus Mendy hasn't really got good defensive stats but this guy's 84 pace and you think uh, it's not 92 is it? Pop a shadow on him of course. Goes eight, uh, 95 and 94 so you're laughing. Defensive awareness well 83 without a card one which is really good for a left back so they don't Fucking push up the pitch and start playing CDM. Uh, standing tackle, really good. Side tackle, really good. Stamina, 92. He'll go all game. Balance, 90 fucking 7. He's not going to get knocked off his feet, even though he's, you know, he's only 5'6". I mean, he's best mates with Bilbo Baggins, but, I mean, his balance is really good, so he's not going to get shoved off the ball. Agility, 87, so he's good at getting out of a, uh, an opponent's team press. Brilliant. Really good player. Uh, Kante, obviously, I told you about him. I got him in a red player pick. Uh, not red player pick. What, what am I saying? I got him in a 86 plus pick, player pick. Play, play, play. This is where it gets a bit... Uh, but it works. It works. Insigne, who goes to Cam in game, is on 4 chemistry. I know you're all thinking, what is the fucking point? But I got him in a red pick and I thought, this card's actually really, really good not to use. 90 pace, 93 dribbling. 4 star, 4 star, high attacking work rate. Fair, this, this is what I thought of when I first got this card. I looked at those stats and think, okay, if he's on 4 chem with a hunter and you move him to striker in game, that is the closest player you're going to get to your pro club striker player. So he's 5 for 4. He's insanely agile, and he's fast, and he's got a half-decent shot, which is what the majority of the pro club strikers are. They're 5'4 with green hair. This is, you know, 5'4 player, a real-life player, and he's got green in his nationality, so... Uh, Bernadeschi, God out me. Um, he's five-star skills, which is the only reason I use him, to be honest. It's just a bit of fun in midfield. He's actually quite strong, even though he's only got 6'6 six, six strength. The amount of times he's, like, shielded uh, for me, especially in the last third, is really, really good. That's why there's nothing really to shout about, really. I mean, it's all sort of good. Finishing, obviously, not it. Ignore that. But the rest of it, it's good. You know, good agility, very good balance, good dribbling, good dribbling stats, very good dribbling stats. Outside the foot shot, technical dribbler, flair. I do like using flair. I am one of those scumbags. On the bench, we have Promes, of course, and Sinclair, my beautiful impact sub. I'll show you what it is in game right now. Okay, this is what it's like in game. Uh, Dembele is obviously the top five star, five star. That's what you want. That is what you want. Van Bergen, left cam. Sinclair, right cam. Uh, Van Bergen is right foot, but he's got five star weak foot. So if you want to do a fast driven cross, 
he can do it either way. Sinclair is just brilliant for getting down the line, gaining space. He's really agile as well. Sinier is central attacking midfielder because I like because he's the most agile, I think, uh, and he's got really good passing stats as well for a left forward. Graven Birch and Kante come in at CDMs, of course. Kante can't win headers, uh, but it's alright because Graven Birch can, and defense stays how it is. Custom tactics, here we go. 43 1. Yeah, balance, balance, 5 5. Boring, boring, but it works. 5 5. Corners 2, free kicks 2. Uh, instructions are stay back on the fullbacks. Always, 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 always. Graven Birch and Kante are on, uh, well, Kante's on stay back because he's a more defensive midfielder. Graven Birch is on balanced, balance, balance, normal interceptions, and cover center. Graven Birch is definitely the more attacking. Uh, a player out of the two. The Cam Insigne is on comeback on defence because I do want to have the fastest people at the top of the pitch at all times. Uh, the Ram and the Lamb, I think they're on the same. I think they're on getting to the box or across and basic defensive support. Yes, they are. And Dembele, I haven't touched because I don't need to because he's beautiful and perfect. Perfection. And that's pretty much it, really. Uh, I don't change it in game. I, haven't, I didn't change it at all last weekend, even if I was losing. If I was winning, I'll just keep it at that because it's such a good balance. I know it's boring. I know you've seen it hundreds of times. I assume you clicked on this video because you were curious, and this is what I did to get Elite Free last weekend. I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, that, that, that is literally what I use. Moment of truth. I play a game. If I win, you get the team. If I lose, which I won't, but if I lose, then sack off the last five minutes of your life. Here we go. This guy's team. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's very good indeed. Oh, shit. Okay. This could be trouble. No, it's not, because I've got the best right back in the game. Tao. He's on four chemistry, but it'll still make you look shite. Bit of skill. Oh, no, okay. Boateng just denied me that beautiful goal. Bridge. Take around him. Red time finish and Van Bergen with the five star weak foot. Let's go. You just have fun with it, you know. I enjoy playing with these players, that's the thing. Like, don't get me wrong, the, the guy probably loves playing with, like, Robin, you know, the five star skills. Neymar obviously is a barrel of fun, barrel of laughs to play against, but. You know, I like these players because, like, you treat them with respect, you know, you don't expect them to do anything, everything, because they can't. They do have weaknesses. Like Van Bergen, like as soon as he gets any body contact, he's on the floor. Don't get me wrong, but the chances of you actually getting body contact with him because he's so fucking fast of nil. And you know, if he gets away from his defender, then you know he's in. That's why. That's one of my pet peeves about people playing FIFA. Like, you know, they always complain about you know the bullshit and stuff. I'm not denying that stuff exists. Don't get me wrong, but the fact that it's annoying you that much just shows me you're not having fun playing with players that you want to play with. Like, I'm having fun playing with these guys. So the bullshit doesn't annoy me because I'm having fun no matter what. Little dink. Oh, too much. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, I mean, this guy probably, he's probably not bringing his own game because he's seen my team and he's like, okay. This guy doesn't know what, he's got Bernadeshi. What the fuck's he doing with his life? But I am fucking sick. Tao covering it nicely. Van Bergen, no. Bit of flare pass. Lovely stuff, Graven Birch. Bit of skill. Wait for it. Oh god, it's free. It's free. Free. Inside 25 minutes. Let's go. God does not hit him. I don't think he's gonna quit because he needs the rival points. But what I usually do, I usually take off Bernadeschi at half time. Cause I like using him, so I want to use him for a full half at least. And then uh, Sinclair comes on, and then Insigne goes in the middle. Sinclair goes on the right, and Van Berg on the left, and that's how I play. That's how I um ride the game out. Okay, I think this guy's quitting now, but we'll try and get one more before he goes. Handball. That's handball, ref. Insigne. Oh, breaking an ankle since day one. You're offside. Is he going to quit? Go on. Okay, no. He's making tactical changes and so shall I. Bernadeschi, you've played well. But he's coming off just for the... Just for now. Oh, okay. And he's gone. Oh, my God. I was trying to make... He's playing five of the back as well. What a pussy. Yeah, I tried to make the video entertaining as possible, but... When it's a rage quit, that sort of proves my point. Very, really good. I just recommend just trying out the... You have to try out the team. 
You can just try out the players and see how you feel. A lot of people saying Dembele's gone past his time. I really, really, really disagree. He's always going to be half decent on the game. Yeah, I just recommend trying the players out. Don't try the whole team out if you don't want to. Um, it is relatively cheap. Um, but yeah, that's what I used last weekend. Uh, it's Monday today. So yeah, that's what I used yesterday, Saturday and Friday. Got Elite 3. Yeah. Yeah, I was one win off Elite 2. Yeah, just have fun with the players and you'll play a lot better. If you play angrily and then you'll play shit. That's just a, the, the, the most standard formula to FIFA. You get angry, you play shit. You have fun, you play well. And exhibit f anyway that's gonna be all folks but um yeah please like and subscribe if you did it means the world to me honestly some of the support recently has been phenomenal got like 20 subs in the past two weeks which is really really cool really excited about that not gonna lie at the end of the day this is my dream job it's not my job yet why did i say that but this is my dream job to have you know uh, I like the idea of creating things and people enjoying them that's basically what youtube is if i could somehow turn that into a career then Groovy stuff. I really, honestly, I really, really would love it. So all support is really, really, really appreciated so, so much. Thank you guys for all the support. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. But yeah, like and subscribe if you did. Enjoy, and I'll catch you next time.